stories, but I'm gonna tell you one. I was sick, right? Like hella sick. And I had a sore throat. This is right before like league and shit. And I'm hella sick. And I'm just like, fuck man, I ain't gonna make weight. My throat hurt hella bad. So you know, one day I just go to my mom and to my cabinet and I got some tea. And I make me some hot tea. And next thing you know, I'm drinking this tea. And then like about 15 minutes later, my tummy just starts getting hella tight and clenching and shit, right? I'm just like, oh, oh, oh. And I run to the bathroom and I pull down my pants and, like, I don't know why, but I shit it and I peed out my ass. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> it wasn't big coming out my dick. It was literally like water and shit <laughs> coming out my ass. And I shit <laughs> like five times that day. And then come to think about it, I looked at the tea that I drank and it was dietary tea. It was tea. It was laxative tea too. It was meant to make you shit. So I'm sick. I'm puking, I'm shitting like crazy, and two days before, the, the, two days later, I had a rest. I was on weight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this one time, I ate an entire, like, 16-ounce New York steak, and I was on vacation with my family, right? Okay, I'm like 11 years old, little guy, I'm like maybe 90 pounds. And so, we go up to the hotel, I'm like, oh, I gotta use the bathroom. So I go in there, I shit a fucking monster. This thing was the Incredible Hulk. Clogged the entire toilet up. We had to call the fucking plumber or whatever to come up and fix that shit. Call my dad. He told me he was proud of me. <laughs> first, first time my mom, my grandma, my cousin, who's a girl. Biggest shit ever. Think peak the water. Peak the water. It's like Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> That's your best story? Yep. Yeah. All right. Your shitty story. <sighs> okay. It all started about a month ago. My parents came and picked me up. They took me to Reno. You know, we had a good time. On our way back, you know, we're going to spend some time in Santa Rosa with the family. And went to, a, went to this fancy restaurant. And that wasn't that fancy. It was like 20 rooms or some shit. We go in there. I'm in there taking a shit, right? Taking a shit, and I notice when I get done taking a shit, I kind of pinched off a little too early, and some shit fell in the boxes. I'm like, fuck! <laughs> I walk out, and I'm like, dude, there's a little bit of shit in the boxes right now. I'm like, fuck! This shit hell stinks. I don't want people to notice. <laughs> so I go back. I'm in the bathroom. Thank God nobody came to the bathroom. I'm in the bathroom with my pants pulled down. I got, I got some soap and a paper towel. I'm washing my boxes in the fucking bathroom. And I come out. I'm sitting at the table. My cousin's like, what's that smell? <laughs> I'm like, what's that smell? I'm fucking still. <laughs> so, like, we just played it off. So, nobody really saying anything. Then we had to go home. I get in the car, I'm like, fuck, I can still smell that shit. <laughs> <laughs> and then my cousin was in the back seat, like, hey, you got that smell from in the restaurant is <laughs> in the car. <laughs> so I'm like, fuck, let me keep the door open. That's what we gotta go. <laughs> and then, and then I get dropped off at home. I took my underwear out. Thank <laughs> you.